And welcome back to the LAPX Sports Update. For the Los Angeles Clippers, the 2016 NBA playoffs have been rocked with what could be season-ending problems. Their two best players, Chris Paul and Blake Griffin, are out for the remainder of the playoffs due to the injuries. Paul broke his hand in Game 4 and Griffin aggravated his left quad injury so much he can no longer play. The Portland Trail Blazers have won the last three games, two in Portland and Game 5 in Los Angeles. The LA Clippers now face elimination in Portland Friday when they play Game 6. The remaining Clippers have played hard but could not get past Portland in the fourth quarter Wednesday night. Here are some images of last night post game. I actually thought um, the way we played in the first half was great. I thought we came out in the third quarter and it was, you know, it was similar to whatever someone said that game six in Oklahoma. Uh, our energy was flat. Like they turned their energy up the beginning of the third and we were exhausted. I had to call two timeouts. You can just see it. And that's, that's not conditioning. That was emotion, you know. Uh, I think we were doing a good job on Dame Lillard, you know, through the course of the game. The fourth quarter, he just, he made some tough shots. I know guys on him played great defense, but I think he had one bank board, uh, one backboard shot, one shot rattle and went in. And when he gets going, it gives the whole team confidence. Uh, we're in the same situation last year. We had to go to San Antonio and we're on their court. Uh, on game six to force a game seven in front of our home fans. So we're a confident group. We feel really good about game six. Um, I, think, uh, I think our defense has been probably the most consistent thing. Uh, you know, our, in game two here, the first three quarters were really good and kind of let it get away in the third quarter. Uh, games three and four were very solid defensively. And I thought the way we defended, particularly coming out in the second half, made the difference. Um, I think, you know, without Chris and Blake, obviously the pick and roll coverage is a little different. CP's a very smart defender. He understands our offense and knows when to gamble and when not to. And so from that aspect, I think that changed their ball, their uh, ball screen coverage a little bit. And looking at you know, how they guarded with Blake, Blake's a good, good hard hedger. He's able to get out and be more active and mobile. I think with him not playing, they just opted to switch, switch a lot of those pick and roll instead of trapping. My, my entire career in the league, I've always, um, you know, been able to put the first three quarters behind me and um, and come up big when my team has needed it. And, you know, all, all my teammates that throughout the game, they just kept saying, keep shooting, um, stay with it, stay aggressive, um, keep your mind right. And um, I was, I would have been doing that all along, but it was, it felt good to, you know, to have that encouragement and that support, um, especially with them trapping so high out, you know, I had to trust the, the right play, you know, hitting the guy in the middle um, and allowing him to make the, the next play to the weak side. And I just had to be patient, you know. Friday could be the end of the season for the Los Angeles Clippers. It is a difficult time for the LA Clippers, especially head coach Doug Rivers, who was moved to tears before game five. The team knows what it needs to do to win two games, but it remains to be seen if they can do it. From Chicago, Illinois, this is Claudia Gastro for the LA Post Examiner.